good morning today we are going to create a strap partition in linux and further we can use that for and we'll be using that for you know hibernation okay so whenever the computer will be stopped uh, hibernated the state of computer will be saved to that partition and when we restart the computer then it will start it will continue from that state okay so first we need to create sub partition for that so i am creating sub partition i am using no uh, g parted for that so enter your password after okay first you need to search g parted and if it is not uh, not installed in your linux then you can go to terminal and say sudo apt install gparted okay like this i have already installed so it will work okay so gparted then the co uh, then your password now from this partition i want to create a swap so i'll be uh, resize the resize the partition so can so i can have a free space so i'll say uh, free space following i'll say i'm creating a swap partition of 10 gb because i need some bigger thing to save when i have a net because iron will generally eclipse or and that takes a lot of memory along with eclipse i like many other other programs like firefox other browser or uh, uh, some postman and then some other development application that takes uh, large memory okay so i need to save them to it is needed to save them to swap partition when we restart uh, when we are hibernating so that's why we need to have a larger swap partition it's 1 gb and it's 10 gb okay and it will be of uh, say i'm putting 9 here because it's a 124 uh, 24 mbs is extra in every megabit to be uh, gig gigabits that is why i'm doing this and yes now this is 10 gb free space here so resize and move now new then it will be primary uses now select here is linux swap this one okay and i don't need to do anything else add okay and now apply okay so this is our swap partition here it is the next swap oh it's more than 10 gb okay it's not a problem for me so apply all operations apply and it's doing this and after this we need to do some more things which is here Okay, come on, yes. So this is doing its work, and yes. After the partition will be created, we'll be executing these commands. Okay. Some shrink is happening because this was here till here. It's creating the partition close so at this time when we have created this swap partition uh, this one right here at day of hd a7 if i see the swap uh, the free space this previous h then the there is a swap partition of uh, it's a file which of 1 gb which was already created before that and this one is not listed here 
okay so this is not in use we can also do a check with h top okay so see it is showing only one gb to reflect that here this 10 gb volume we need to uh, we need to do this sudo see right here i have some commands written here this is I will pasting here. I'll be pasting here. Sudo swap on st a7. Okay, and press enter. So now if I check in H top, this is 11.7 GB means it's working now. But this change, this reflection of swap is only till this session. If I restart the computer it won't be reflect and to make it permanent we have to use we have to add some entries this entry in fs tab file okay to do that i need to use this command to edit fs tab entries with nano and i'm doing that with this so i need to add this line okay Uh, I have pasted it here slash dev slash asda7 okay then none then swap then sw00 I'm making some spaces for okay. let it be here it will be like this control s control x okay now it is saved and it is permanent okay uh, and it's working so thank you for watching the video